Hey everyone, back at Strawberry Bank in the landscape today, checking out perennials, lots of magic popping up. I'm actually in the herb garden right now. Come with me, let's check it out. Lovage is a great plant coming up early season. I use this mostly for soups and stews. Throw it into a super stew like a bay leaf, just imparting that awesome flavor. This is kind of a wild celery, uh, maybe three, five times as strong as our common celery in our markets. So be careful if you throw too much at a recipe, it'll all taste like celery. Check out the Scylla. Scylla is a very early season bulb plant that emerges this time of year. Now planting bulbs, one rule of thumb is to kind of learn when to plant and when things bloom. Scylla, which blooms in the spring, is usually a fall planted bulb, like many others. And those bulbs that bloom in the fall, you're normally planting them this time of year. Scylla's great if you've never given it a try. Very delicate flowers, purple and blue hues. Really, really nice. And I'm sure our new honeybees are appreciating all these new blooms. Now this is Fritillaria lily. I'm in the Sherburn garden here at Strawberry Bank and this garden is our most accurate garden after all sorts of archeological evidence validated what people were growing, what people were eating, and certainly these ornamental varieties that came in and were introduced. A lot of the Dutch trade contributed to these types of bulbs and ornamentals coming into early America, especially in the colonial period as more and more people were practicing breeding and introducing certain varieties to colonial New England. Now, not very showy, but eventually this will have these amazing yellow flowers. And if we can go a little bit closer, you can actually see the buds up here already forming. And in a few weeks, this will be a gigantic, um, very, very beautiful yellow flower. This is actually Crown Imperial. So again, a lily. And we also grow a, another Fritillaria here at Strawberry Bank called the Snakehead Fritillaria. Now, Snakehead Fritillaria is a little bit similar, but purple to maroon. And it actually grows this nice flower and then goes down almost like a snakehead very very cool so give it a try this is again fritillaria now one of my favorite plants to eat this time of year comes up very early this is called garden sorrel commonly known as lemon leaf these leaves are absolutely delicious and have a sour lemon flavor now this is often used in combination salads or as we historically call them salades so very very abundant in early spring, lots of food, and absolutely delicious. Loaded with vitamin C and all sorts of nutrients. Give it a try, really, really nice. All right, here we have Sweet Sicily. Now this fern-like leaf, you can see it here, comes up early spring. Now a lot of our interpretation in our colonial garden is all about those European introductions as people were traveling in and bringing things out of Europe. This is an introduction certainly, and it was imparting quite a lot of flavor through salad recipes, but also was very medicinal still today. It is great for nausea or an upset stomach. So if I have an upset stomach, this is actually the first plant I come to. Just a few leaves will go a long way. This is excellent in salads and has a flavor of black licorice. I'm here in Goodwin Garden. We interpret this garden to around 1870, so lots of 19th century interpretations. A lot of bare soil here, but as you can see, we have a lot of Angelina sedum. So Sedum angelina is an absolute gorgeous specimen for New England cultivation because of its hardiness. Very, very tough plant. As you can see, tones of yellow and orange. This plant will actually change color depending on temperature. So when the snow first melts, it's actually this beautiful red orange. And as we get more and more temperature, it shifts to more of a yellow and green. The coolest part of this plant, it is easily propagated. All you need is a few cuttings. 
about this size, look how adorable that is. And as you can see over here, sometimes as shoots drop down, they'll actually root into the edge. And from last year, we can see this one volunteer that had dropped down and rooted on its own. So absolutely cool plant. Um, again, very easily propagated and very hardy for here in New England. Do you know what this one is? That's right, it's peony coming up nicely. Almost looks like little arms with fingers at the end. Very, very interesting. Now, sometimes things emerge having this color and it's kind of tricky to confuse them with other plants, maybe some edible plants. This one certainly you don't want to eat, but next let's go check out something that you will eat. We're actually in the Shapiro garden now. Now, as I said before with that peony, lots of things emerge with that red stem, including rhubarb. Now the difference you can see is the leaves actually produce a lot faster compared to peony. Peony at this point is still just that red shoot without any leaves and you can see how quickly rhubarb forms leaves in comparison to peony. But sometimes when things emerge they look very similar. You can actually see that red shoot already developing. Uh, this is actually already edible just this shoot. One thing to remember too if you're not aware not only delicious but this plant is also a laxative. So delicious, medicinal, absolutely gorgeous, really, really cool. This is poppy orientalis to be specific. Now poppy leaves are absolutely gorgeous coming up. If you get close enough, I'm not sure if you can tell, but they're furry, fuzzy leaves, really, really cool. So I'm in the Thomas Bailey Aldridge garden very historic landscape here with the mansion that Thomas Bailey Aldridge grew up in. Now soon enough we'll get these nice flower scapes coming up. Beautiful flowers. In a few weeks we'll see those buds set. So give it a try. Poppy family is absolutely enormous. Quite a lot of textures and colors. Bit of trivia here. If you know what this is, I'm very impressed. This is one of the first emerging Perennials here at Strawberry Bank. And this is Solomon Seal. Now Solomon Seal is a very cool plant underneath the ground. It's got kind of a tuber root system that's very medicinal. And this is traditionally used for anti-inflammatory applications. So a lot of people I know with bad backs or herniated discs, it will actually reduce inflammation, often in combination with other types of medicinals like golden seal and a few others. Ah, uh, yes. Does everyone know what this one is? This is Dicentra or Bleeding Heart. Really, really nice. Those will be blooming very shortly. And yes, it's those heart-shaped flowers. Really, really nice. Can't wait to see those blooming. Little extra color in the landscape. I'm down here at the Cornelian Cherry, Cornus Moss. It's not really a cherry. It's actually in the dogwood family. Beautiful yellow flowers, if you can see those behind me. Those will actually produce these small little red fruits. Really, really cool as we approach summertime. Hope everyone has a great day. Hope you enjoy the show. This is Strawberry Bank.